could be us, but you keep playing with my heart. You name your dog something like Max, but over the years, it becomes like, actually, his full name is Maximus Moo Moo Baby Bambino McHandsome Face Fluffington Jr. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's how it goes. Hungry men create dinner time. Dinner time creates stuffed men. Stuffed men create nap time. And nap time creates hungry men. It's a never ending cycle. Me. So my husband, first grader. You have a husband? I do, the whole time you've known me. Oh, I thought you were feral. Um, you mean single? Whatever the word is that you use for stray cats. <laughs> oh, that's tough. Once I overcome my insomnia, internet addiction, body dysmorphia, propensity for isolation, romantic obsession, bizarre food rituals, negative self talk, Talk, low self-esteem, fear of intimacy, compulsive personality, and inability to let myself live in peace, it's over for you guys. I relate to that just a little too much. That's kind of scary. When I pack too much for a short trip, 11 pants. <laughs> Seth Rubin. Ryan Reynolds follows me on Twitter, but never engages with any of my content or seems to actually understand what I do. In this way, and only this way, Ryan Reynolds is a lot like my dad. Ryan Reynolds. We're just trying to give you space. Rachel. Going to the gym to say, Ooh, big stretch at everyone like they're a cat. Hey, that's just menace behavior. It's crazy how your siblings actually have their own lives. I literally see them as side characters in mine. Her siblings are just gonna be reading that like, what? I was at Chick-fil-A today and a girl came in crying her eyes out because a big ass spider was on her steering wheel. And one of the cashiers walked out there, picked it up with his fingers and sat it in a tree across the street. I swear, I don't know where the heck they're finding these employees at. They're literally the best and nicest kind of people. Dustin, say what you want about Steve Harris. But if a toddler handed him a fake phone, he would answer it. Yeah, like 100%. Our cat takes herself off to her fuzzy bed if we stay up too late. She also yells at us if we're making too much noise while she's trying to sleep. She's 16 and knows what she wants. See that? That's the face of a cat who just wants some peace and quiet. Owl at the library. Re-enchant your life by making the mundane exciting. You're not going to CVS. You're visiting the apothecary to buy potions. You're not running an errand. You're doing a side quest. You're not feeding the birds. You're making an alliance with the crow queen. See, that just makes it so much better. Me, quietly crying. Wife, what's wrong? It's never gonna happen again, is it? It's been forever. I've got a feeling it might happen again soon. No, you're just saying that. My automatic feeder goes off and I scramble over laughing with relief between mouthfuls. <laughs> hey, hey, yo, what? My sexual attraction towards someone varies 100% on their ability to commit to a bit. As the saying goes, if they can commit, they can hit. I believe that's in the Bible somewhere. Josh Billinson, 2020. Movie theaters are dead and they will never return. 2022. Theaters are forced to ban large groups of teens in formal wear from purchasing tickets because their enthusiasm for the cinematic experience is simply overwhelming. Oh, how the times have changed. The year was 2006 and our biggest problem was hottie from Flavor of Love cooking chicken in a microwave. Oh, those were the days, man. Those were the days. My girlfriend said, is there basketball on? Then put on the game and walked away. Two hours later, I'm like, what is she doing? She's napping. She turned it on to keep me occupied like a toddler. Hey, I mean, but it worked. Who's winning this fight? Magneto or Iron Man? Did you forget what Magneto's superpower is? LOL. Yeah, no, Magneto would win in like a nanosecond. Only fans, but it's elderly women teaching you how to sew, knit, can food, quilt, and have some solid recipes. I call it only grams. Hey, yo, give JJ Slick some funding immediately. This needs to be real. John Squires, this is legit one of my favorite shots from a Dracula movie. It's Hotel Transylvania. I mean, hey, it might be a silly movie, but look, that, that's a dope shot. My wife and I have a system in which she will lose her phone and ask me to help her find it, and I tell her it's on the stairs, which it literally is, literally every time. It's a pretty good system. The New York Post reports, Americans are nicer than Canadians, airplane etiquette survey reports. Haha, <laughs> get screwed, Canada. You have nothing now. Pierce Brosnan checking out his wife's butt. Ayo, hey, this is cool and all, but like, who's taking this picture and why are they taking it? It is just creepy. My boy dresses like this with that haircut, doesn't seem interested in girls, and knows he's different and feels like a mistake. With these obvious signs, how can people still debate whether or not he's a math teacher? I didn't think that's where you were going, but I mean, he definitely looks the part. Your flight is at 11 a.m. What time do you arrive at the airport? I'm trying to see something. Mmm, 7 a.m. Dang, you finna change the 
oil in the plane before you board or something? I mean, hey, some places you gotta be there like four hours early. It sucks, but it's what you gotta do. If I caught a fish that looked like this, I would keep that crap to myself. Yeah, man, I don't think anybody wants to see that. I don't mind paying 10 or $15 for a book because I know the author likely spent five years staring at a screen in panic yelling, I'm a fraud. I have no idea what I'm doing. And they are now entitled to compensation. I mean, it's only fair. Drunk guy overheard on the train tonight. Don't touch me, you slag. I have a girlfriend. Jack, I am your girlfriend, you jerk. Sit the heck up. Absolutely amazing. The asteroid that ended the dinosaurs was technically the highest ratio of killing birds to one stone in Earth's history. The ultimate metaphor. Told my dad I ran out of alcohol and didn't have any money to buy any for the weekend. So he gave me the huge bottle of vodka from the cupboard that I stole and replaced with water when I was 16. Life really does come back to bite you in the butt. Hey, what goes around comes around. Enjoy your sober weekend. I often daydream about winning the Powerball and buying the licensing rights to the show Friends just to edit out the laugh tracks, then re-releasing it back to the public for free so everyone can finally understand how freaking unfunny that crappy show actually is. Yeah, so something tells me you're not a fan of the show. Gotcha. When I worked at Subway, we were always out of meatballs and people would be like, are there any meatballs left? And I'd be like, no, and they'd be like, today sucks. I was a sandwich artist, but I also ruined lives. Ah yes, the duality of Subway. Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory? More like the original Battle Royale. My resident at the nursing home told me that one of her favorite childhood memories was when her father would juggle for her to cheer her up. So you bet your ass I spent the past week learning how to juggle, and I can't wait to show her today. Hey, that's some grade A wholesomeness. We love to see it. The Indiana State Fair is just a few weeks away, and here's one of the food items you'll be able to try. What do you think of the pickle pizza offered by Swain's Concessions? It's homemade dough with a dill ranch sauce topped with mozzarella cheese dill seasoning, and dill pickles. Oh, what's that? You said Swain's concessions? Okay, good. Now I know exactly where not to go. This is a sin and it shall not be in my body. My plan would involve hollowing out West Virginia and using the slag to fill in Lake Ontario, completing a diagonal chain of now saltwater lakes across Turtle Island and linking the Arctic and Atlantic seas. This would benefit no one and cause untold damage. I will take no questions. This person just destroyed the infrastructure of two countries. This is literally a supervillain's tweet. The working title of my new book, I'm just going to eat half, and the other lies I tell myself. Shoot, I'd read it. Ever had a friend who learned a new word on day and just kept using it for a week non-stop? Well, that's my mother, and I cannot withstand her utilization of complex words from the English lexicon. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? This Hawaiian mushroom makes women orgasm just by smelling it. Hey, Bath and Body Works, we have a new scent request. Oh, that would be a bestseller. The man that paid us to bake a cake for his girlfriend's birthday just called and said, we should eat the cake. I can't even begin to imagine what went wrong. Uh, F's in the chat. If we're walking together, just know that I will definitely bump into you because I can't walk in a straight line. Hey, at least you warned them. Smelly Steve has joined the Zoom meeting. Smelly Steve. Sorry, I smell so bad, guys. LOL. Diane. We can't smell you, Steve. It's Zoom. Smelly Steve has shared a file. Body stink odor. 6.3 gigabytes. Whatever you do, don't open it. My 14-year-old is babysitting for the first time and I just received this text from him. So once the they're all asleep. Do I just go or, or wait? Yes, honey, you have to stay the whole time. They aren't old enough to be left alone. Ah, oh, okay, thanks. Aw, oh, poor kid. Hey, well, I mean, at least he's learning. Five-year-old walks up behind me when I'm on the computer. What games are you playing? Me. Pay the bills. Well, are you winning? No, I'm never winning. I don't think anybody wins that game, except for the government, of course. Nothing makes me laugh as consistently as remembering the story of Hitchbot, the hitchhiking robot that made it all the way across Canada and tried tried to do the same in the USA, but was immediately beaten to death in Philadelphia. I mean, hey, that's what happens when you enter Philly. I mean, them's the rules. Yeah, I'm into fitness. Fitness hot dog up my sleeve to secretly eat it during a lunch meeting. Hey, that's the best type of fitness. First person to shoot a fish in a barrel? I don't even know how to describe how easy this is. I heard her approaching and tried getting out in front of the situation by saying, I'm in here, I'm in here, I'm in here, I'm in here. But no, she ended up barreling into the bathroom and seeing me pooping again in Anyway, ah, you just can't win. So I was dating this guy, kind of rich, and he asked me out of the blue, would you date a struggling guy? And I said no, due to some personal reasons. And he said, you know, to me, you are the struggling guy. I haven't healed yet. I mean, hey, the truth hurts. Surprising kids with a new pet. A good dad. Hey kids, I got you a goldfish. Bad dad. Hey kids, I got you an alligator. Ah, run kids, that's run. Gone crazy. Gators daily. Disagree. Yeah, no, if a dad comes back with an alligator, that's the coolest dad 
anybody has ever met. Top tier dad. An apparition appears in your room alongside a more successful looking doppelganger of yourself. Apparition. And this is what you would be, doppelganger. Oh my God, spare me these twisted visions, Spectre. I've learned my lesson. Both vanish. You. Hey, what the heck? I'm not that bad. Yeah, no, at that point, you have to understand you're just living in the worst timeline. You ever think about the fact that Wikipedia built the modern library of Alexandria using nothing but nerds needing to correct each other? No, it's truly magical. Whoop, there it is. Okay, that's clever. I like that one. My little girl is two, and whenever she's happy, she will just shout out, happy. And there's nothing purer in this world than when she's just sitting playing with toys or eating toast and just yells out, happy, to let the universe know it's doing a good job. Aw. Six-year-old me at 2 a.m. debating if I should hold my pee till the morning or run down the hallway and risk an attack from a demon. These are life and death decisions, buddy. Choose wisely. Folks make fun of Euphoria for how old the kids look, but I'm watching Grease right now, and wow, those Rydal High School boys all look due for a prostate screening. Yeah, honestly, I'm pretty sure there are like 45-year-old men in that cast. Ridiculous. Aristotle, a person is as big as the thing that makes him angry. I got angry when someone referred to John Smith and Kristoff as Disney princes, when neither of them are royalty, so this week is going well. LOL, I just walked past a funeral, and they're all doing that dress up in suits minion thing. <laughs> oh, wait a second. It's gotta be tough being a toddler. You're standing there crying about something that feels super important, and an adult walks up and immediately looks down your butt to see if you crapped your pants. Yeah, the struggle's real when you're a toddler. We put this chair on the curb for bulk trash pickup, and my cat thinks it's for her. I've seen three people so far come and pet her during their neighborhood walks. Aw, oh, the cat's gonna be devastated when their chair disappears. A Moscow farm has decided to equip its cows with VR glasses in order to have them relax and feel happier. A calm environment leads to an increase in milk yield, so the cows are given a VR headset displaying summer fields. This is literally the plot of The Matrix. I have lived next to the same guy for three years, thought his name was Steve. I called him Steve, his name is Steve in my phone, I've been to his apartment, and we've had dinner. His name is Brian, and his dog is Steve. Aw, oh, dude, that's more than awkward. That <laughs> Why didn't they correct you? Customers will say crap like, uh, it's asking me to remove my card? Yeah, because you're supposed to remove your card. It's not rocket science. 